And we have a fixed blade to talk about. <clears throat> I don't do a lot of fixed blade videos. I've done some. And I think I have a fixed blade playlist that I will link down below. Uh, just because I've done some, right? It, it's cool. I don't really carry fixed blades that often. However, this one I'm actually really excited about. I'm actually kind of excited about the the most recent fixed blade that I got, this Tour, um, the name I can't even really pronounce, so I'm not even gonna try, but I haven't messed with this one yet. I did a video and I need to go to one of my local uh, knife makers here in Napa area and do a little bit of modification to it because it's kind of sharp back in here and uncomfortable to carry. So I still need to get that done, and then I will do a follow-up video on that one once I get those modifications done. But this one, this is an RMJ USA Sparrow. Now, it came in just a kind of a standard cardboard box. This one came from DLT Trading to a, a viewer, Michael, who then sent it along to me. I don't even think he actually opened it. I think he just stuck it in a box, relabeled it, and shipped it to me. So this might be the first time he's actually seeing it, other than on the DLT website that he bought it from. And this is 200 bucks, and I think it's pretty cool. Now, it did come with some paperwork, some information about it, sticker, um, warranty. I'm not sure which one this is. Uh, oh, instructions on how to use the... Uh, straps. And I was reading through this one, you know, it's kind of congratulations on your purchase. They're very concerned about you making sure that it's, you know, that it's sharp. Okay. They talk about that in a couple of spots. It's very sharp. It's designed to penetrate steel, concrete, wood, and synthetic materials. So yeah, just interesting. You know, I, I think it's cool. It's kind of fun. It's kind of make sure you know what is what, right? So it is a smaller fixed blade, as you can kind of see. And it comes with the it comes with the kydex sheath with these two leather straps. And it came in a scout type horizontal carry position. Now, what you can do, which is what I would do is you take off one of the straps and then you reconfigure the remaining strap and you can do a IWB or inside the waistband, which is exactly how I would carry this. I did carry it with it in this scout horizontal position, but it just doesn't work for me. Like it, it sticks out if I put it on my you know, uh, my nine o'clock, then this sticks out. If I put it at 12 o'clock, it would have to be kind of at like 11 o'clock and it kind of sticks out. Uh, I guess you could put it at six o'clock, but that's a bad idea. Like that's just a bad idea to put anything at six o'clock at the small of your back. Because if you fall on that, you have a good, you, you have a, 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 Good possibility of doing severe damage because it, you fall on it on your spine. And a lot of law enforcement way back in the day used to carry handcuffs and stuff right there in the small of their back, maybe a backup a revolver or something in the small of their back. Had a lot, a ton of injuries. So I never have anything right at the small of my back at six o'clock. Uh, everything would be at the three, four o'clock position for me personally because I'm right handed. So I think you get the idea. Anyway, let's take a look at this bad boy. This thing is so cool. Uh, like I said, I'm not a super big fixed blade guy, but I'm kind of considering one of these at 200 bucks. Nitro V steel, G10 scales, and it comes in three different colors. Uh, it's got the, the black, there's a OD green and there's a brown. They call them different things, but they're basically, those are what the colors are. A uh, little bit of branding. And it's not just 
printed on it. It's it's milled in, which I think is actually a very cool way to do it. Um, yeah, I just, uh, it's cool. Like, I want to go stab something with this because it's just so cool. Now, it does fit in your hand. It is a little small in the grip. Okay, and we'll get to all the specs here in just a minute. But the jimping up here is perfect because I think this is how you're going to use it a lot. Um, I guess you could do a reverse grip. It's comfortable. But this is something that you could use to cut your lunch, cut open a bag, cut an apple, you know, do some normal daily tasks at a park or out in public and it not scare the bejesus out of everybody like for instance this tour would i mean even though it's not that much bigger it it just looks much bigger right so i think this is a great size so the specs on this is seven inches overall the blade is 3.54 again from the edge of the scale to the tip of the blade with a 3.15 cutting edge. It is really sharp. They're not lying when they talk about these things come sharp in their paperwork, because they really do. Uh, Nitro V, as we said before, the blade thickness is 0.135. The overall thickness here at the biggest uh, point of the scale is 0.551. Now the knife alone weighs 2.2 ounces, in its entirety here, with the sheath with the horizontal carry, at 4.3 ounces. Uh, if you take off one of the straps, it, it's going to be slightly lighter. I don't know what the, you know. I didn't do that. It's not my knife. I'm not going to reconfigure it all. Um, but you're at like 4.3 ounces all said and done. And you could carry this all day long on your belt and never know it's there other than the printing thing. Once you get it configured for you, this is gonna disappear on body carry. You can configure it for uh, Molly, if you wanna put it on a, on a pack or a vest or a plate carrier or anything like that, I think it would be excellent uh, for that type of a thing to carry it like this, kind of handled down on um, like on your weak side, you know, plate carrier or vest, tactical vest type of thing. I think it would be great for that. Quick deployment, quick and stabby for whatever you would need in that type of a situation. I think it's great. I like, I'm kind of jazzed about this thing. I don't know why, but it's just very cool for a guy who's not a super big fixed blade guy. So we'll do a couple of quick size comparisons just because with the AA battery, the D-cell battery, which are getting a lot of use these days here on my comparison deal. How about next to the Sharpie? That's going to give you probably one of the best comparisons there. Um, so it is longer than a Sharpie, but not by much. I think this is really a carryable uh, size. We did see it next to the Tor knife. Um, but here is another look at that. And then I have another fixed blade here, which is kind of a neck knife, the Extrema Ratio, which is cool. I've done videos on this too. Um, it's a cool knife. My buddy Benito had one and he kept posting it in pictures on Instagram and Facebook. And I, I had to break down and buy one because, well, I had to keep up with the Joneses. Or in that case, the Benitos. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. It happens. And here it is next to Spyderco Delica, which it's just about the exact same size. Like, it is the Delica slightly longer? The Delica may be just slightly longer, but definitely smaller in the hand. I just, I don't know. It's just such a cool, cool, cool fixed blade. Michael, I'm going to get this sent back out to you, but man, is it a cool one. And for 200 bucks, I don't know. I may have to break down and buy one and reconfigure it to be inside the waistband. Um, 
because it's just very cool. And I could literally see carrying this one as a backup knife, right? As a, a tertiary knife, even, you know, I always have a folder in my pocket. I always have a little small uh, Swiss army uh, type knife and something like this might be a good way to go. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. I would appreciate it. And I will put a link to the Fixed Blade playlist uh, in the description. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, come back tomorrow because there's more exciting stuff. Thanks, guys.